We've got Pastors Keith and Diane Alchin all the way from Central Life Christian Church at North Wyong. Did I get that right? You certainly did. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Guys, it's great to have your company. Welcome. Oh, thanks, thanks Mick. Um, firstly, a little bit about yourselves. How did you get involved with your church? Was this a plant? What do you feel like God is doing with you guys at the moment? Hey, we've all been pastors here at one point or another. We know how to talk. So I'm just going to let you guys run. Cool. <laughs> well, we came to Central Life Church just to help out. <laughs> you know, they just needed a little a helping hand, you know how it goes. And then got ambushed. <laughs> mm, sort of, yeah, yeah. And um, then uh, a number of years later down the track, our, uh, the senior pastor decided he would uh, he was heading back to Adelaide because he was from Adelaide. And mm. uh, so we took over the reins of the church and we're still there and still going. Awesome. How long have you been pastoring now there? Uh, there we've been... About, about 10 years and been pastoring on the coast for about... 20 plus years. Wow. So you're definitely due for long service leave. <laughs> yes. Yes. And the pin to go with it, I'm yeah, imagining. Absolutely. <laughs> Where's my pin? <laughs> yeah. Suit of armour and a heart transplant too, I, I found. Yeah. I've had Didn't a few me. of those. There you go. I'm pretty sure that's what God's business is all about. Think, oh, okay, yes, I've seen that period that you just went through. Okay, let me just get on that now and bring some healing. That's exactly right. <laughs> so where do you find, um, what do you found that uh, God is doing at the moment with you guys? What sort of season do you find yourself in right now? Um, I think we're in a season uh, of change. I, I think that God's opening a door. Um, I think there are lots of doors opening on the Central Coast for lots mm -hmm. of churches. I think there's a real sense of unity among the churches that's beginning, uh, birthing. I know there's lots of pastors like myself, 7 o'clock every night my alarm goes off. I start praying yes, for unity. That's a good one. I pray for unity. I pray for a revival on the Central Coast. Mm -hmm. It's something we've not really seen yet on the Central Coast. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've, been, I've lived on the coast most of my life and we've never seen a real, an actual revival, you know, something where God shows up in his presence and then stuff just happens, you know. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for, you know, a, a, a real move of the presence of God. Yeah, oh, look, I'm all the way with you on that one. That's something we love to do uh, where I fellowship. Uh, I know that that 7 o'clock thing, every, and this is probably actually something you should remind the readers too, uh, the listeners too, that 7 o'clock, there is a, a big prayer movement that's actually going on right now. And I know plenty of people that I go to church with, we've got our alarm clock set. So as soon as that 7 o'clock hour rolls around, we're in. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Diane, how do you find being, so you are in senior leadership as well yes. with Keith. Um, what do you see as one of the big challenges in the church? Oh, what a question. I love these kind of <laughs> questions. I get asked them all the time. <laughs> um, I think one of the challenges, particularly, um, well, probably a couple of things. If you've been a Christian for quite a while, you sometimes can get into a certain mould and mm -hmm. a certain expectation and a certain thought process. And sometimes God likes to do things a bit different. And so yeah. it's about being flexible and available for whatever God is doing for that time. Yeah. Um, and not to get in a set way that God's always going to move in this way or that way, that you actually can miss God and what he's doing for now. So, you know, be the change <laughs> is very, very um, apt and it's very for now. So that's one of, one of the things. And I think the other thing in church is to really be real. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Authenticity <laughs> is key. Mm. Don't just be your Sunday face and be something else for the rest of your week be real that's where it's at that's where God's heart is at the rawness that that we bring um, makes us available for God to move more absolutely and obviously with our theme of be the change you know that's not just obviously for the radio station here but I think it's such a prophetic word mm. for the absolutely. church right now for the body of Christ like all over not just the central coast but right across the world it's like hey We've got the best news that anyone can ever hear. That's right. You know, I mean, all of us are sitting here right now because we heard the good news and we responded to it. Yep. So, obviously, with the Christian radio station, the way that we are uh, set up here to, to broadcast the, the good news, but we obviously need you guys because we are all part of the kingdom. Exactly. So, this is all about family. In the studio, joined by our very special guest pastors, Keith and Diane Alchin. Guys, how are you? Fantastic. Thank you. Now, I notice you've got cups of tea. Well, at least one of you guys has got a coffee anyway. We don't have a cappuccino machine out there. I do apologise for that. <laughs> I know. I love my cappuccinos, especially when I come on air. But right now, it's lemon tea all the way. Okay, very I'm good. I'm pretty sure there's a little bit of glory in this right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, during the break, we're just talking a little bit about your heart, where you guys are at the church. So, um, what do you want to share with some things that, that are actually happening there right now? 
Um, well, this year we've really, as a church, we've paired back a few things to focus really on prayer and worship. Yeah. Um, so pretty much we're pretty basic. So all we're particularly doing apart from our Sunday and all of our small groups that run during the week is we're doing a worship and prayer night, anything goes night, <laughs> um, once a fortnight on a Friday night, 7 o'clock at the hall. But um, we're quite enjoying that. It's yeah. just bring yourself, bring your heart and just run with God and whatever he's doing on that night. Yeah, come on. I love those nights. They're mm. some of my favourite nights in church. And Keith, you were just sharing a little bit about um, just your heart for the church as well and, and kind of where you feel like what, what God is doing there right now. Yeah, look, I've got a real heart for people that... Um, well, lots of people have been in church mm. and they're now not in church, you know, for whatever reason, you know, like uh, we've all been hurt in church. Sure. You know, we've all, we've all got our Welcome battle scars. Welcome to the club. You know, we've all got our battles to go. We've all had stuff happen to us. But, you know, you never you never grow as much as when you're rubbing up against other people. I mean, you can have yeah. all the fruits of the Spirit when you're on your own. Sure. You know, I can be all patient with myself, <laughs> you know. But when, but when I've got to get in there with the body of Christ and, and stuff happens, you know, and, and there's little offences happen, those little foxes get in, you know. Absolutely. And then we've got to work through that stuff together. Yeah. Um, and that's what the body's about. And, yeah. and I really encourage the viewers to, to find yourself a church. It doesn't have to be our church, but there's plenty of churches on the Central Coast. There's some great men and women out there, mm-hmm. great leaders. There's great um, people out there running churches. Yeah. All kinds of churches too, you know. There's, you know, there's a, the Baptists and the EVs and there's the Pentecostals. <laughs> and, you know, you, it's, it's, I, I like to think that God likes lots of... He's a Baskin Robbins type ice cream, you know. He's got a flavour <laughs> for everyone. You know, he's got a flavour for everybody, you know. And and I think just get yourself into a church somewhere, you know. Yeah. Sew yourself in somewhere. Just go to help, and you never go. No, God might just use you. Absolutely. I mean, I can test that. I mean, I had no idea many, many years ago that I'd ever be sitting in a radio station, let alone a Christian radio <laughs> station. I thought Christians were the biggest weirdos on the planet, and and I'm being extremely kind and well-behaved <laughs> when I say that, and then I end up becoming one. <laughs> Not only that, but ended up pastoring churches and doing overseas missions and Australian missions, and here I am. That's yeah. So this is what some of the things that God does. You know, we mentioned a couple of words before, um, I think in the last interview that we were doing, with Joel on air, and just that word authenticity. Yeah. Man, that is so needed in the church, isn't it? Absolutely. Yep. And, and I think, you know, one of the biggest killers, I remember hearing a, a, one of my spiritual heroes say this, that, you know, the majority of Australians have been inoculated with, or, or, or actually they've been given just enough religion where it's inoculated them against the presence of God. Yep. That's right. And so that's what we're really, I mean, people are looking for the presence. Absolutely. That's what they're after. So, yep. And these worship nights that you guys are having, I mean, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. So you've been running them for a while now? Uh, yeah, probably since the start of the year. Yep. Yeah. Give us a brief description of what a night would look like. Well, it's yeah. pretty much anything goes. Yeah. We, we might do a couple of Because it's always different, isn't it, when you're it's talking different. about the Holy Spirit. It's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, we don't do no. formulas here. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. Look, God's God. That's um, it. One thing I learned about God many years ago is that... Um, he is God and he'll just do as he pleases. Absolutely. And he doesn't often fit within our realms yeah. of our culture. You know, he, he ignores our culture. He ignores what we think's right. <laughs> and he just comes and does what he does. And, yeah. and you know, I, I've learned a long time ago that just... I remember one time many years ago I went into this church and there was a guy, a friend of mine, he'd, he'd, he'd just had a back operation. Mm-hmm. He'd had his uh, sp- uh, spine fused. Mm-hmm. And I went into this meeting and he was standing on his head. <laughs> True. And I went and I said, what are you doing, Ian, standing on your head? He goes, God told me to stand on my head. And I went, well, I just, you know, I've just learned to back away from things that I don't, never speak against the Holy Ghost. That's I it. never speak yeah. against what God might be saying in somebody else's life. I might not understand it, yeah. but God's sovereign and he can do as he pleases. Absolutely. And so I'm happy for God to just come ever how he wants to come. I want him to heal. I want him to restore. On him to impact people. Yeah. I, the biggest thing I'd love to see is people come into the services, wherever it may be, and just get healed. Yeah, come on. Just get yeah. restored. Absolutely. You know, bad backs, bad necks, you know, whatever it may be, cancer, yeah. leukemia, yeah. you name it, let's curse those things and get rid of them. Yeah, absolutely. Guys, why don't you share a little bit about your, just uh, as we finish up, t- as we head towards the news, um, your address for the church, um, the times that you meet, that would be awesome. 
pointing to the boss? Um, yeah, we're, <laughs> <laughs> we're um, what's Dalmycin? Thank we're, you. <laughs> we're at four slash five Dalmycin, Dalmycin Dalmycin Avenue, yeah. North Wyalm. Yep. Um, so we're um, we're we're just opposite the golf club there at North Wyalm. There's okay. a, a series of, of business um, glass buildings. Glass buildings, yeah. Yep. So we're in one of those in there. And we mm-hmm. meet it on Sundays at ten a.m. 10 a.m. 